Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the idea of how long will my money last. I'm going to build an Excel problem so you can easily see how it works since you can do it yourself. Hello, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn, where I help you finally learn financial literacy, including Excel kind of stuff. So let's get started. I had a question uh, a couple of days ago from user YZ1. Can you do this as an example? Well, I can. So thanks for asking. We'll see you on the next video. Well, I guess I should actually do it for you here. So Jessica has accumulated $1,233,000 in the retirement funds. We're going to withdraw $190,000 per year, not counting inflation. Let's uh, assume an interest rate of 6.5%. How long will this annuity last? When I put the 6.5% in Excel, it does not work. So let me show you how this works. Uh, I think I can solve your issues for you. So I've just restated the problem. Jessica has 1233000 withdraws 190000 at the end of each year when the return is 6.5%. How long will the money last? And we're going to ignore inflation. So I'm going to do it annually. I'll do it monthly. Annually says I've got one period per year, and I've got uh, payments happen at the end of the period. So we have the payments are all going to be uh, withdrawals from the account. We certainly could calculate if you add $10,000 a year to that account or whatever. Now, I have lots of videos on time value of money using Excel. So this is a time value of money problem. So um, check in the description below. I've got lots of, of videos for you and I've got a playlist for time value of money. Now, we're going to calculate the number of periods. We need to know the periodic interest rate. Well, the periodic interest rate is 6.5%. The present value uh, of this problem is how much do we have right now? We have 1,233,000. Now, I think one of the issues that you might have is present value and future value have to be different signs. If we plug in this as positive and both of them are positive, then uh, that's going to be a challenge. So the way that Excel works and the way financial calculators work is I'm going to make this $1,233,000. I'm going to make it negative. Um, we could put it in positive, and we have to, in the formula, we'd have to make it neg negative. It would come out with a, an answer that would not work. Um, it would be um, an error message, so we don't want to do that. Because it's almost as if you're saying, look, I'm paying $1,233,000, but I'm going to receive a positive $190,000. So that's how we're going to show this and I'm going to put it in the form of this way. It's going to make it really easy. And then um, we're going to say um, how much do we have until our future value is zero. So on this first one we're going to calculate the number of years, how many periods we're going to have um, in years. We can do it monthly. Some people might want to do it monthly and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So the form that we're going to use and I go up here to the uh, function, the FX right by the formula bar and I'm going to search for NPER. I can do this NPER number of periods. So I need to know the rate. Well, the rate is 6.5%, but I'm going to go ahead and divide it by the 1, which mathematically won't make a difference. But if we do it monthly, then we need to take that 6.5% divided by 12 months. So I'm just kind of get in the habit of doing that, and that's going to be helpful. The payment is already a positive 190. We're receiving 190. Uh, but what are we paying? We're paying out. You know, the, we've uh, basically invested $1,233,000. That's already a negative number. The future value is going to be zero. And the, does the payment happen at the beginning of the year, January 1st, or at the end of the year, December 31st? We're going to assume payments happen at the end of the year. You can always go back and look at the little instructions in Excel. So here, we're going to hit Done. So it's going to take... 8.7 years. You got eight full years and then a partial year. Um, 0.7 is a partial year. So it, during the ninth year, uh, we'd run out of money. So we wouldn't have a full payment of 190000 It'd be a partial payment um, less than 190000 Now, let's think about what we have. Do you want your money to last longer? Let's say you want it to last 10 years rather than eight and a half or whatever. So what you need to do is you either need to you know, have more money, maybe that's not an option. Maybe you need a higher interest rate, maybe that's not an option. 
but you could maybe take a little bit less. So let's take 180,000 and let's see how that works. Then it becomes, you know, nine in a third year, uh, 150,000, let's just switch it up. Well, you'd have 12 years. So how much you take out really makes a difference. Let's go back to the 190,000. So 8.7 years is our answer. Now, what I've also done is, is I've calculated, I've shown uh, how this works. If you start with 100, uh, 1,233,000 and you take out 190, you've got a, a little bit of return along the way. Then at the eighth year, you'll have at the end of the year 126,000. You might be able to earn an extra 81.90. So you're going to be able to take out 134,000 or whatever that, that math might be not the full 190,000. So you got eight full years and then the ninth year would be a partial year. If you want to see it on a graph, here's what happens. It slowly goes negative then or zero uh, in year nine. Okay, so let's do monthly. It's the same kind of calculation. Monthly would be 12 months. Payments happen at the end of each month. And so instead of saying uh, 190,000, let's take 190,000 uh, divided by, let's just make that 12, and so we'll say, oh, how much is that per month? 15,833 each month. Uh, we're still going to do a periodic rate, 6.5% um, for the year is going to be 6.5% uh, divided by 12. So how much is that per month is like a half percent per month. The present value is still going to be 1,233,000. And the future value is still going to be a zero, right? So how much uh, does that, at the very end, we're going to calculate it to zero. So on this one, we're saying, well, we're taking out monthly amounts of 15833 So how many months would we have? Well, so we do the same kind of thing. We're going to calculate the number of periods. So I'm going to do FX up here, number of periods. I need to have the rate. Now it needs to be a periodic rate. So if it was six and a half, I need to divide by 12. I've already divided um, by 12 and got um, 0.54. If we want that to be um, show the six and a half percent, then we need to divide it by 12 here, but that's our number. The payment's going to be 15,000. The present value is going to be the 1.2 million. It's negative. The future value is a positive zero and the payments happen at the end of the period. So this lasts for 101 years. No, remember this is months. So how many years would this be? So 101 divided by 12 months, we're talking about the same amount of time, eight and a half years um, rather than 8.7 years, approximately the same. So you've got eight years and a ninth year that's a partial. So that's how you calculate how long will my money last. You can do this in Excel and you can solve it. Now to make your money last longer, reduce the payments um, that you have each time and, and that would work. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.